Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome back to Ace Attorney Apollo Justice. How's everybody doing? This is episode 55. Good job getting the views required in order to get another episode. So, um, things aren't going the best today, so we're gonna have to push the YouTube short every 15 or 20 minutes. Um, remember guys, YouTube shorts count as a new view every time you click on that link. Uh, so, that short hasn't even gotten a thousand views yet, so we're gonna need to push it, like, on all the streams tonight. Uh, and we'll also be pushing our 11.30 stream. So if you guys are able to watch the short uh, during the um, during this quest or during this case thing, that'd be awesome. Yeah, and my me and my wife got my medicine. Yeah, that's important. Okay, so your first like goes on her likes. We are currently on uh, case number five, which I've never played before. And this is called Turnabout Revolution, and it's about um, the, I guess you would say, adopted father or stepfather or foster father of Apollo Justice, Dirk, who is, uh, for whatever reason, in the world of Ace Attorney, he is outside of uh, the country where he's rebelling. rebelling. So that's something. Uh, I guess we'll never figure out how he actually got out of his country, but... It is what it is. So. <clears throat> Let's get to it. Last time, uh, there was this weird um, politician guy that popped up. Not until very late at night. Just a little out of it. Ah, uh, where where are we? Okay, so this is Paul Politician, or Paul Addison, or whatever you want to call it. It's politician. Yeah, that. Politician. Nope. Um. Is this what you ride around with when you're campaigning? That's right! It's perfect for narrow roads and steep hills here in this village. It has a top speed of 5 miles per hour, but it suffers from serious uh, reliability issues. Namely, these imbeciles tire out too quickly. <sighs> Sorry sir, we'll try harder next time. Poor guys, they're exhausted and covered in sweat. The Addison... Uh, a Titian family has been in politics for generations, even back in the old country. Really? My grandfather, Abe Addison, was a prominent member of Congress, and he was born right here in Karine. There isn't a person who hasn't heard of him. All I asked about was his, uh... Paloquin? Paliquin? I don't know what that oh, is. Oh, I think that's the thing he's riding on. I think that's a Paliquin. Oh. You must have heard the Addisons. I'm even reviving our old country's campaigning style. Nah, uh, nope. Politics aren't really my thing. Trucy? Hmm. I don't recall ever reading about them at school. Well, they don't teach you everything in school, Trucy. Young people today. You people really need to pay more attention to politics. No, not really. Yes, like... that's what we need more! More politics! Let's go! No. That's what would make the world a better place. No. And I think people should argue more on the news about pointless arguments. No. And also, they should get people on there that are from different backgrounds and get their feelings hurt and yell at each other on the news! Ah! 
lot, and they should try and make more division and make people mm -hmm. angry and hate each other. Your sarcasm, people never pick up on. Why? Why can't people tell really, I'm joking? You're really bad at sarcasm. I'm not bad. I'm just saying what I think. I think if people hate each other more and make people's feelings hurt and say inappropriate things on the news and argue a lot, then I think the world would be a better place. Honey, I, I'm not in the ad lib right now. I'm. I'm. <clears throat> I got a headache and Fine. all this other stuff. I'm just making a point about what I think could make the world better. Okay. So, what business did you people have at uh, Dr. Buff's house? He was going to transfer ownership of a, a Founder's Orb to us or something. It's a sacred relic from the Kingdom of Karine. The Founder's Orb? Hmm, so you tried to get your hands on it, did you? Wait, do you know what that orb is? I know that it is mine, that's what. Huh? How do you figure that? Because I know it's not the Founder's Orb. Its real name is the Crystal of Ami Fei. The Crystal of Ami Fei? That's right. Uh, it's been passed down through generations in the Addison family. Until it was stolen, that is. Uh, but just when I had zeroed in on the culprit, the doctor hid it away and then kicked the bucket. So you're saying that Dr. Buff stole your family heirloom? That's not what Dirk said. Strange. Uh, but I've been told the doctor himself said that he had the Founder's Orb. It's all that weird foreigner's doing. He filled the doctor's head with nonsense. Nonsense like the Crystal of Ami Fei being the Founder's Orb. Weird foreigner? Could he mean... Is this the foreigner you're talking about? Take that. Yes, that is him. I thought so. Now we really have to find Dats a Rebel. Alright, have you seen Dats? have a super a highlighted message from one of our members. Hi, Evolution Master. Says, member for seven months. Um, hi, Q-Wings. I hope you guys are doing well. I am actually having a pretty rotten day. I'm not getting the hours that I need at work and to pay my rent every week. Mm. I'm so sorry, Evolution. Um, we will definitely keep you in our thoughts and prayers, my friend. I'm so sorry that's happening to you. That's terrible. Well, we will be praying for Evolution Master, right, Luke? Yep. Yeah. Uh, do you know where this man is now? Thank you for being a member for seven months. Thank you so much. I imagine he's at the detention center by now. I called the authorities after I found him hiding in my dog's house. What? Oh, that buffoon. Well, at least we know where he is now. Yeah, let's head over to the detention center and see what he knows about the Founder's Orb. So, you finally are after my crystal, eh? No, we're looking for the Founder's Orb, and we have an agreement to prove it. Well, just so you know, you are not going to lay a finger on it. It is mine. And I intend to give it to my benefactor. Your benefactor? Who's your benefactor? My benefactor is ready to support my rise to pinnacle of the political world. They have immense influence here, you see, and I intend to harness the influence. So you're just going to give your family heirloom away to this person? That is right. It is purely political decision. And in exchange, that patron will get the people of Karine to vote for you. <laughs> Politicians are skilled at leveraging all of their connections. Um, uh, isn't it illegal to buy votes? <laughs> I'm not getting into that. Well, <laughs> good luck with that, I guess. <laughs> it is, but... <laughs> oh my gosh. This game fulfilled a prophecy. Well, the Japanese are so um, based. That water was knocked over. Is it illegal to buy votes? No. Um, heh, you just want, uh, Paul Addison will- you just watch. Paul Addison will reign supreme someday. Uh-huh. Alright, so... We need to go to the detention center. I didn't even realize there was a police office in Karine Village. Thank you for the super chat, Justo Kenobi. You're breathtaking, Justo. <clears throat> says Dirk seems like a cool guy. I think he is the I think he 
I think it's the monarchy who might be the bad guys. Yet they paint Dirk as the bad guy, says Justo. <laughs> I was just joking, JS. I don't like people arguing. I don't think it helps. Right. It's important. Okay, people all misunderstood. It's important to care about issues, but having people argue back and forth on the news is not helpful because it just makes everyone angry. You know, that's all I have to say about grab, it. Grab the water bottle. <clears throat> grab the water bottle. What one? Where? The water bottle. The shark doesn't work as well. Give me the water bottle. Oh, do you want me to... Do you want me to refill this with mm, water? No. Thank you for the super chat, Justo. And that's why I like gaming, because gaming is an escape from the weirdness of life and all the weird stuff that people argue about. That's why we love gaming, because we can live in a nice world in which that stuff doesn't exist, which is nice. We can just relax and enjoy the story. Thanks again, um, Corey, a.k.a. Evolution Master. And we will be praying for your family and for you that everything will go well at your job. And thank you so much, Justo Kenobi says, I feel like Dirk is actually kind of a good guy. Maybe the royalty are the ones that are bad. And that's a really in interesting comment, uh, Justo. Thank you so much. That might be correct. All right, guys, let's keep pushing for likes. We're about 76 likes. 100 likes is our first goal, so... <laughs> And also, guys, again, mods in the chat pushed the YouTube short because the YouTube short did not do well today. YouTube short only got 700 views. We need way more than that. Uh, shorts have to get 1,000 views to help, like, the the channel. Um, so it's, it's kind of weird for me to see that. It looks like last night's short did better, which is good. All right, visitor's room, wherever we are. <coughs> oh, hey, what's going on? Ah! What's he doing under the desk? Ah, uh, foul cogs of corrupt regime! I have nothing to say to you! That's me, Dirk, you fool. Oh! Hey, Dirk, uh, you're a sight for sore eyes, huh? <laughs> I knew you'd come save me! Yeah, well, uh, this is another fine mess you've gotten yourself into! Ah, ah, ah. My bad, my bad. Hey, at least the grub here is pretty good compared to that, uh, prison back home. You get three square meals plus a place to sleep. Why don't you join me, Dirk? Ah, uh, no thanks, uh. They just send me back to Karine where I'd face immediate execution, so, uh, no. Yeah, I guess that wouldn't be such a good idea, haha. <laughs> Looks like he's still the same, too. Long time no see, Dats. Uh-huh. Hey, you look kind of familiar. Apollo? Is that really you, my boy? Uh, A to the J, all grown up and whatnot. How you been? Fine. And you, Dats? You look good, besides the, uh, incarceration and all. Psh, uh. Ha, 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 ha. Those horns, AJ. Horns? Yeah, they've grown up with you, huh? Just like a stag's antlers. I, I can't take it. You really haven't changed a bit, have you? Anyway, there's something we need to talk about, you and me. Uh, sure, pull up a chair. I've got all the time in the world. A uh, slammer's like my second home. It's really not so bad once you get used to it. Trusty. <clears throat> He's rather laid back for someone in the police custody. Well, that's why it says revolution, because he's a revolutionary. Right. That took me a while to get. It's about revolution. Yep, I'm in a great mood because I'm making bread. We like to hear about things other than politics. Definitely, JS. Me too. I like to watch cat videos. I like to watch a video of a turtle eating fruit. I like to think about recipes that I'm making. So, K-U-R-A, uh, K, okay, I can guess, I think it's K-U-R-A-I-N. So, I actually found out that our cat 
is somewhat scared of this this stuffed animal shark and I just kind of put it near him and then he doesn't claw us as much. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know if it really worked for Luke because he put it near Link and then Link just went around the other side of the couch and, and clawed him. Yeah, Loser, Little Divergent said politician is politician. Yep, definitely Little Mr. Divergent. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> Alright, about the orb. That's, um, was that the doc- Well, that's, was the doctor- Dads, was what the doctor had really the founder's orb? Absolutely, positively, the doc was sure of it, probably. Oh, uh, really? Because someone from the village is calling it the Crystal of Ami Fei. He also claims you're uh, fulfilling the doctor's head with lies. That ain't true. The doc said he wasn't sure if it was a real deal or not. All his fancy research confirmed it was the founder's orb. So then that politician guy was lying? Imagine that, a politician who lies. Ah, uh, yeah. I bet he wants the orb all to himself. Hmm, I wonder who's telling the truth. Not the politician. Hmm. Well, take a look at this. It proves the doc believed uh, he had the founder's orb. Oh, yeah, let me see that. Uh, hmm. I agree to hand over the Founder's Orb to the Defiant Dragons. If I will come to no harm, signed Dr. Archie Buff. Well, that didn't work out well for him. I uh, see, I got it all down in writing, Dirk. Yeah, but that's, uh, there's a problem. Why does it say, if it'll come to no harm? If I will come to no harm in the end there. Sounds like he was kind of scared of you. Dads, did you threaten the doctor in any way? Uh, no, you got it all wrong. <laughs> it was the do I was the doctor's friend. He told me the old man, uh, his rebels were dangerous. It's his fault the doc, uh, thought I might hurt him. Sounds like the work of that politician. He's been really made a mess of things. Orb transfer agreement to the court record. Okay, reason for the arrest. Probably because he's being sus. So what have you done now, Dats? Uh, nothing. I'm innocent, I tell you. Probably. It all started when this dog-faced cop tried to question me. He looked so funny I started laughing at him. That's when they came after me. But it was hilarious, I tell you. I mean, a human police dog? How funny is that? Right. So what happened after that? Oh, they caught me hiding in a doghouse. Dang pooch ratted me out. I guess that's what I get for laughing at one of those doggy comrades. Sounds like the dog's got the last laugh after all. That's... Weren't you cleared of, uh, those, uh, jailbreak charges? Hmm. And your capture by Lady Kira deemed unlawful. Yeah, but, uh... The cops here don't seem to like me anyway, so... What are the charges this time? Unauthorized entry, or something like that. They think I'm an illegal alien. And I can't prove otherwise, because I lost my passport. Ha <laughs> ha. Oops. Is there any way they let you go? Not without my passport. Oops. If only I had it. Hey, Dirk. AJ, you got to find my passport, guys. All right, we'll go find it. One more thing to add to our to-do list, I suppose. Now, where might Dad's passport be? Mm. Oh, about the orb's whereabouts. Uh, maybe the doc's kids know something. The doctor has kids? Yeah, a bit of a shut-in, though. The poor thing's own bedroom has become like a self-imprisoned prison. Self-imposed prison. A shut-in? Sounds like it'll be a challenge for us to get a conversation going. Hmm. Time for questioning. Follow me, please. 
Must be lunchtime. Today is fried chicken, if I'm not mistaken. You'll get your lunch if you behave yourself. Hey, Dirk, AJ, I'll see you guys around. I love this place. Free lunch? Oh. Our only lead now is Dr. Buff's kid. But luring a shut-in out is, uh... Not gonna be easy, huh? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. So being in jail is like being in a bed and breakfast? For some foreign countries, yeah. <laughs> I always remember when we visited a jail when I was younger. And, like, people had a TV in there. There was a couch. Because the jail you visited was called a white pri white collar prison. I was like, what the? I was like, this is nicer than some apartments. There are three, there are three types of jails. There's federal, there's state, there's white collar, and then there was one other. So criminals that do non-violent crimes that are basically like... They just get a free apartment then? No. Okay. And criminals that do non-violent crimes and did crimes of like theft or they stole like uh, industry secrets or they did they did something sus, but they didn't actually harm anybody. They would go to a type of prison that is not like for you know hardened convicts or dangerous <clears throat> people. Yeah, but I remembered at the time my family couldn't even afford cable and they had cable in a prison and I was like Right, that's for white collar crimes. I was like, but you guys have better stuff than I have at home. Business crimes. Uh, yeah, it was kinda made me a little bit upset. Like, that's not fair. Well I remember them trying to abolish those type of prisons so that they could just throw everybody in like federal or state prisons, which is where violent criminals go. Mm. I think they should give them a nice carpet, but they shouldn't, like, throw them in with violent people. They shouldn't give them a TV, though. That's not fair. Where are we Some going? Some people can't even afford cable. Nope, that didn't work. What about the doctor's study? <clears throat> Alright, we found a kid. Detention center. Doctor's home. Back to doctor's study. Alright, thanks so much guys and gals for the um the likes and for helping out the short. Really appreciate that guys and gals. Mm. Yeah, I'm just not doing well. Doctor I'm study. Sorry, not doing well. Oh, it's you again. No, it's hmm. Emma. Emma. <clears throat> Looking for Mr. Wright? He was just here a second ago. He was? What was Daddy doing here? Good question. Hmm. He said he was looking for something. Did he say anything else? Let me think. Hmm. Something about how his ride never showed up at the airport. Yes, that was it. I guess Athena really did get lost. But what's Daddy doing all the way out here in the first place? He can't be looking for us, since no one told him we'd be here. Hmm. Well, if you're here to take another look around, be my guest. I have other work to do, so if you'll please excuse me. Yeah, of course. Thanks, Emma. First and foremost, we better find Dad's passport. We should also have a word with Dr. Buff's child. Hey, is it just me? Or is there something new in here? Hmm. Oh, you mean that thing, yeah. We should take a closer look at it, too. What thing? Let's not forget about Dad's passport. It should be around here somewhere. Hmm. Where would the passport be? Any ideas? Uh, about that Paul Addison fellow. He's uh, aiming to be a councilman beyond or whatever. His uh, famous grandfather once was, right? No doubt some uh, would vote for him on the uh, meritus of his grandfather's achievements. I see a grim future for Grind Village if someone like that is able to climb the ranks. I wouldn't worry about it. Who in their right mind would vote for him the way he's campaigning? 
You'd be surprised, there's a lot of stupid people. So the more aggressively it campaigns, the less people will want to vote for him, huh? That makes me want to get out there and help him fail. What? <clears throat> We uh, turn the doctor's return to we turn the doctor's study upside down, but never find the orb. Yeah, I don't expect this to be so hard. Uh. Well, I think it's fun. It's like a big old treasure hunt. That orb is the key to Karine's uh, future, you know. Yeah, and her office's future too. She does realize it's not up for sale, right? I guess we have to look around for some type of orb thingy. What is that? That's new. Hmm. What's this? A model helicopter? Don't you know anything, Apollo? It's a drone! They're all the rage now. I bet it belongs to the doctor's kid. Hey, we need to ask them about the orb's whereabouts. Mm. Yeah, but uh, luring out a shut-in isn't going to be easy. Okay, so... What am I supposed to be looking for? Like, is that the passport there? Nothing particular here. Uh... There's nothing else on the floor here. Like, where am I supposed to be looking for this passport thing? Um... That's a good question. Um, let's see. The only thing new on the floor was that helicopter thing. Everything else I've I've checked thoroughly okay. already. All right. Um, this looks like a passport here, but it says it's nothing. <clears throat> so we have to check. Uh, we we're supposed to find a passport somewhere in here. All right. Let's see. Ryan Village, nobody there. Write anything agency, nobody there. So we definitely have to do something in the doctor's study. Mm. <clears throat> okay. uh, let's see. Let's see, we already went to the... Um... Oh, you can click on the suitcase again. Okay. That suitcase! Maybe his passport's in there. Ah, it's no good. It's locked tight, Apollo, or er, uh, whatever. We should have asked him for the key. I forgot who we're working with, Apollo. Hey, buddy. Ah. <clears throat> uh. Alright. Mm, little uh, cat, little cat. Let's see. You're not a little cat. You're a big cat. You're a big boy. Mm. All right. Hey, guys, we're about 25 minutes in, and we're almost at uh, 100 likes, so let's keep those likes up. really Great helps out a lot. Great job, everyone. Or, yeah, try to get... Uh, if you guys haven't liked yet, um, getting uh, t 100 likes really helps us out. Thanks, everyone. <clears throat> what are we going to do about Dad's passport? Hmm. It's probably right there inside his suitcase, but we can't get it open. <clears throat> Why don't I take it over so Dad's... Over to Dad so he can unlock it. That way you guys can continue looking for the orb. Oh, we're looking for the orb. Right. This whole time we've been looking for the orb of Karine Village. Oh, whoops. I kind of forgot. I mean, that one statue is holding like a oh, egg. That's not it. Okay. Good thinking, Trucy. Okay, here we go. Huh? What the? Urgh! This thing weighs a ton! Let me try. Jeez, <laughs> how can a suitcase be so heavy? It's filled with bricks or something? Knowing Dats, he probably packed his dumbbells in there. It's uh, certainly m much too heavy to lug all over uh, the, the detention center. Here, let me uh, take a crack at that lock. What are you going to pick with it? Sounds like you got it. There you go. I'm pretty amazing. Wow, that was fast, Dad. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, lock looked like uh, it was child's play to me. Especially after all the wrongly imprisoned compatriots I busted out over the years. Wow. You've seen a lot of action for an ex-lawyer. 
And uh, here we go. There's Dad's passport. I'll take it over to him. Thanks, Trucy. No problem. Now you guys enjoy some quality father-son treasure hunting time. Okay? See you later. There she goes. I wish she wouldn't make such a big deal about our uh, little family situation. Father-son time. Hmm. Uh, you want to go fishing? <laughs> it's been ages since we had a father-son talk, huh, son? Play catch! Yeah, well, I mean, you are kind of like a rebel, so... <laughs> so, Apollo, uh... How you been? Huh? Fine. I'm fine, I guess. That's so. Fine, you say. Well, fine is fine by me. Good to hear. Um, yeah, okay. This is awkward. Uh, not not too good at this uh, stuff. So how about them? Uh, how about them <sighs> sports team? So um, what do you want to talk about now? Get down! Get the dirt, son. Huh? <gasps> oh my gosh! What the? Ah! Oh wow. Uh, oof. Well, that was weird. Speak to me, son. Say something. Oh, the... That's smarts. You maggots, what do you think you're doing? Evading Buff's airspace. It'll be scorch a day in the Siberia before you get past me, you yelly bellowed yahoos. Whoa, it can talk? What kind of drone is this any- Ah! Whoops. Is that a real bull? What is it shooting? Drone nothing. That Sergeant Buff to you, soldier. You got that, you lowly grunts? Ah, what now? Who, what? Buff, sounds like the doctor's son is behind the controls. He's controlling this thing? Hey, Paul, let's play along for now. At least until we can get the info we uh, need out of him. Yeah, okay. We're gonna talk to a drone. Um, um. Sergeant Buff? That's Sergeant Buff, sir! You forgot to say, sir! Have you never seen a war movie before? Uh, right. Let me try that again. Sergeant oh. Buff, sir! Better, better, better. Now, state your name until rank, soldier! I'm Apollo Justice. I serve at the Right Anything Agency. My rank is Fledgling Lawyer, sir! Affirmative! Private Justice! Private? Listen up, diaper baby! Your commanding officer's orders are absolute! Disobedience means a one-way trip to the firing squad! Do I make myself clear? Uh, yeah, sir! Yes, sir! Good, good! We might make a man out of you yet, Private! Now for Cyclops! Uh, what, me? Oh, you want my name. Cyclops. Unit in rank two, uh, Dirk! I command the rebel group, the Defiant Dragons, and my rank is, uh, Leader Sir! Excellent! Welcome aboard! Uh, Commandeer Drake! Dirk! Wait a second! What's with that ridiculous mop you call ahead? Soldiers should be clean cut! I'm sorry, but this is my signature look. I'm not- Oh, gosh! Oh, fine, fine! I'll get a haircut before we ship out. Listen up, you! It's kill or be killed out on the battlefield! No place for living conditioners! All you got is life! And you're lucky to have that! He's oddly obsessed with the field survivor for someone who never goes outdoors. This is gonna be harder than I thought. Okay, so we are literally interviewing a drone. What is happening here, says Jessica? What's happening, says Brandon? Interviewing a drone. Oh, great to see you guys in the chat. Hi, Shadow Trooper. Hi, Spiral Link fan. Hello, Brandon. Hi, Don Haka. Hi, Justo Kenobi. Hi, um, uh, Soul Flare. Hi, uh, Batman Guy. Game Kid 28. And, um, uh, great to see you, uh, Shadow Trooper, Everly. And Jake Cat two seven five says hundred likes hype. That's right, Jake Cat. 
Uh, hi, Alex the Ronin. Hi, Don Hopka. Great to see you. Hi, H.M. Goldbeck. Hi, J.D. Hi, um, Timmy the Sailor Venus fan. Hi, bro. Hi, Peter Hilton. So, uh, oh, oh, Peter wanted you to try an army accent. And Don was saying before, try the suitcase again. Um, hi, uh, H.M. Goldbach and Game Wing 1. Uh, Peter and JD and Juan. Hope you guys are all doing well. Hi, uh, Garth, Maui's Cavern, and um, everyone. Sorry, you're having um, a rough day, uh, George. I hope, you're, I hope your day gets better. Sorry to hear that. Hi, Jessica. Hi, um, Timmy. Hello, Ethan. Hello, everyone. Hope you guys are all doing well. Hi, Alex. Hi, everybody. I am good and bad. Okay, well, at least good and bad is better than all bad, Game Wing. Okay, interview the, the sergeant buff. Ah, uh, you're controlling that drone from your room, sir? Affirmative! Sorry. But I can see everything you do from here, so... Ten hut! Wipe that stupid look off your face! I'm gonna whip you sheltered... Pecans into shape! With what? Your charming personality? Look, it's got a camera and speaker, too. It's kinda neat. And that's not all, commandeer or whatever. Commander! With these arms, I can cook and clean, too! Speaking of which... Oh my gosh, she can cook and clean? With these arms, I can cook and clean, too! Speaking of which... Private Justice! You're on latrine duty! Snap to it on the double! Oh no, not again. Sorry, Loki. Ah, as if I don't see enough of the toilet back at the office. Wow. Sarge's drone, a helicopter drone operated by the doctor's kid, equipped with a camera and a microphone. That thing's, uh, pretty handy. Us to fine dragons could use one of those. Ha ha ha! Yes, it's a fine piece of hardware, isn't it? I modified it especially for siege defense. Siege defense? You mean how you won't leave your room? Oh my gosh! What's going on with the drone? Holding up at a stronghold to defend against an enemy is an age-old military tactic! Timeless strategy is still applicable to modern warfare! I hope you're not trying to mock the wisdom of my forefathers! I mean... I meant no uh, offense, it's just, well, an observation. So the green owner who ain't even discharged the firearms got something to say, does he, huh? Sorry. Sorry it won't happen again, sir! Darn two now! Stay your attention, soldier! Location of the orb. We had an agreement with your father. He uh, promised to hand over the founder's orb to us. What? Papa promised you that? Yeah, he did, but then he died before he could tell us where it was hidden. Whoops. Now we have no idea where it is. Oh! Uh, uh, the guy is crying? Papa, why? Why do you have to die? It was an unfortunate accident, and I'm sorry for your loss. If it helps at all, I know how you feel. What do you know? You insignificant maggot? <laughs> what an unseasoned rookie like you know about <laughs> how I feel. First I lost my mama, and now I lost my papa! Oh no... You lost your mother too? I'm sorry... She's been gone for some time now! I'm... I'm all alone! All alone! I really feel this is supposed to be a little kid. Sergeant Buff, uh, would you tell us a little bit more about what happened to your mom? Yeah, it might be a little kid. I don't know. Probably a kid. Or it could be a shut in teenager, I don't know. Uh, your mother. 
Mama passed away about six months ago. We never- we were still living in our apartment in the city. Back then I had yet to engage my siege defense strategy. In other words, something caused him to withdraw from the world and, you know. Oh, I see. Siege defense. It was arson. Oh my gosh. It happened so suddenly and before we knew it, our apartment was a sea of flames. Mama and I were trapped inside. But help never came. So Mama cradled me in her arms. Kicked out a window. And jumped. What? She did what? She was like a walking, talking medal of valor. My mama was. She delivered me safely to the terra firm with a perfectly executed PLF. It's a five-point landing technique used by paratroopers to land safely on the ground. She sounds like a superhero or something. Yeah. But from that height, she suffered massive injuries in order to protect me. She died so that I could live. What? She died? I don't see how jumping out a building with a child would have the child survive and you wouldn't. Maybe she rolled around and was holding him and then he was cradled in her arms? Still, like, <sighs> the force of the impact of both people falling depending how the height, like, uh, whatever. It's an but anime. I thought, like, in that one uh, episode of Final Fantasy, I mean, I know it's a fake uh, thing, but didn't Cloud grab Tifa and then roll, like, with her and shield her from getting smashed on the ground? That was when they were jumping out of a train, though. Wouldn't that be similar than jumping out of mm -hmm. a It's complicated. <sighs> I don't know what to say. And the uh, person who started the fire was, uh... He was immediately apprehended. Then he was standing outside laughing while the building burned. What?! And at least justice was served. I hope that brought you some solace. That's terrible! I've lost both my parents now. You can't possibly know how I feel! Oh my gosh. Mama, Papa! Poor kid, it's hard losing both your parents at such a young age. It is a kid. He must really feel all alone now. Apollo, uh... Imagine you know what's going... what he's going through. I do? Road to recovery begins by talking to someone who suffered the same hardship. I know you have something that shows you understand. What? I have something that... Oh yeah, my that... yeah, my dead dad. What? Apollo's dad is right there. No, that's his foster dad. Um. Okay, I guess you could present it and see what happens. Yep. Um, well, I guess you could try it out, Luke. All right, that's what the chat is saying. Show him the photo with Apollo's dad, says Don Haka. Show him the photo of Joe Justice's soul flare. Maybe she landed on her back and the impact killed her, but he lived, says Peter. Maybe. Apollo's dad is dead, remember, says OH. Yeah, oh, I know. I forgot. Um, Sergeant Sir, would you please take a look at this? What do we have here? It's a photo of my dad. I wasn't even a year old when he died in a fire. What? And uh, like your mother, he died in an arsonist blaze. Mm. But in his final moments, he managed to save his infant son. Pr Private Justice, you've suffered a loss just like mine. I have, and that's why I know how you feel. But you still don't have your you still have your mother, don't you? No, I lost her too. What? She disappeared after the fire. I don't know if she's still alive or dead. Heck, I don't even know what she looks like. Wow! Sergeant Buff, his experience is very much like your own. If anyone can understand the sadness in your heart, it's him. Hmm. Little kid's sad. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Attention! I salute you, com Comrade Justice! <laughs> Comrade? 
Oh no. Well, I mean, that's a word people use in the army, I think. Uh, uh depending some, on the army. Some countries use the term comrade, but those countries are not free countries. Anyway, you are no longer a private in the buff army. Henceforth, you'll be corporal. Corporal? Congratulations on your promotion. Corporal Justice. I'm just glad that seemed to cheer him up a bit, I guess. Hmm. What? Now, comrade, let us toast to our new stripes. <gasps> oh my uh, god, uh, Zelda! Too late. Gosh, darn it, Zelda. It's on the stairs. And I gave her a medicine last night. What? Every time I don't give her... Paper towel. When I just give her dry food and not wet, she has a problem. Before Link eats that, you want to put a paper towel Link, over that. Link, don't go anywhere near that. Zelda, no! You're not done! Oh. Link! Don't eat that, you stupid cat! Because cats do that kind of stuff. Disgusting. Zelda got sick. Five different things to change. Now, Link can't get to it, right? You put a paper towel. I'm gonna to start telling, telling you things to change about yourself. Yeah, just focus. What? Link can't get to what's No, I put the paper towel on there. Luke, I think you may want to put some socks on. You may want to make sure that you have a warmer shirt on. You might want to put some slippers on. I will say things on the air that will make you. Zelda, I don't want to hang out with you right now. I don't, oh, I don't know Zelda, done. please! Okay. Call me Sarge! Don't be shy! We're a band of brothers now! Ha 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 ha! Now's our chance, Corporal. Ask him about the Founders Orb. Wow, Dirk's getting way too much of a kick out of this. Hmm. No, the cats didn't need any chocolate. Um, Don, uh, our cat has a stomach disease. She regularly throws up. She's had a stomach disease for a while. Two years now? She, she, they were gonna put her down a while ago, but we, we had her overnight in intensive care. So she has to have special food, but sometimes she doesn't like to eat her special food because it's gross to her. So when she doesn't eat it, then she gets... I think she actually gets sick because she's purposely not eating her dry food. <sighs> but... Yeah, she has a stomach disease. Yep, we don't even have any um, chocolate in the house, so I we're very yeah, careful. There's chocolate right there. Well, I mean, it's in it's a sealed. wrapper. It's concealed. I don't have any chocolate sitting out. Yeah, we've, we we clean up. Amber eats a lot of onions, so we clean up onions and we clean up any chocolate or stuff like that. We're pretty good about like not having things on the ground. Link, what are you doing? Link. He's gonna jump up here again, probably. Alright, location of the orb. Um, Sergeant Sir, do you have any idea where the orb might be? It's here in Papa's study until last night. But he said he was gonna go hide it somewhere. He mentioned something about a shady character being after it. Where do you think he hid it? Uh, somewhere in the village, I'd guess. He said he found a suitable hiding place for it. So it was here last night? That is until he went out to hide it somewhere in the village. The only question is where? Mm. Maybe he left some clues in this study. Let's search the place again. We should also find out more about Dr. Buff. It might steer us toward the hiding place. Um, so Sarge, what was your father like? Papa was kind, as Mama was courageous. This whole reason for moving to the countryside was for me. What do you mean? I initiated my siege defense strategy after Mama died. Papa was so worried about me, he moved us here to the countryside. He thought the fresh air, blue skies, and natural surroundings might alter my tactics. 
want to find daddy. He even quit his position at the university to move here. He did? He did! He gave up his beloved research position just for me. A parent must be prepared to sacrifice everything for his child. That's what Papa said. Wow. That's pretty impressive. Well, I'm feeling about two inches tall right about now. <laughs> yeah, Dirk. Step it up. There's no one in the world I respected more than my Papa. But that just makes his passing all the more devastating. Mm. Papa, may you continue your beloved research up there with the angels. Mm. Okay. How is this kid going to live on his own? I don't even know how old the kid is. Five? I mean, he probably has to be pretty young if the mom was able to cradle him in his arms. I, I doubt she was coddling like a 20-year-old. We don't have any food laying out that's bad for our pets. They don't eat anything except for the pre uh, prescription stuff. She just... She just, uh, she, she does that all the time. She has a hairball She doesn't problem. have any, she's not, um, there's nothing wrong with her. She just, I mean, she has a, a stomach disease where she, sure, she does that. But she doesn't, we don't have anything laying out. Luke, Luke says that I eat a lot of onions, but I don't, I do not eat a lot of onions. And I, and I, and I always clean up everything right after I'm done. So Luke is just talking a lot. Our cats have only eaten cat food today. There's been no problems. It would I don't even like Luke mentioning it when they have a hairball, but like I explained several times, my cat has a a stomach illness. Um, they were gonna put her down, but we give her prescription food, but she will still have hairballs. It's a it's a it's a stomach illness that's very bad. Back up on the her main little... reason she's probably sick is because she doesn't like eating her prescription food. Yeah. She refuses to eat sometimes, and it makes her sick. She's a very stubborn cat. Very stubborn. <laughs> but thank you guys for your concern, but we, we take very good care of our cats. In fact, we take such good care of our cats that the veterinarian actually waited for us, when they had a cat that was having a hard time and had been dropped off, they didn't even need any kind of references or anything. They actually said that they wanted to give it to us because because we take so such good care of our cats. All of our cats that we've had, we've actually extended the life of our cats. Um, we're around our cats 24-7 because we work all the time. We're constantly petting our cats. We're constantly taking care of them, making sure they have everything they need, clean water. We're very good to our cats. Um, a lot of cats have to wait hours and hours for people to go to work. Um, our cats get a ton of attention. We actually had a cat. We adopted our first cat, Tink. She was adopted and she had a tremendously bad heart problem when we adopted her that no one knew about. We actually extended her life for a long time because we got her all the best food that she needed. Um, we, you know, she got to sit next to us and sit on our laps and it really helped her heart out a lot because she could actually sit on us while we were actually recording and stuff. And so she was able to basically be around people 24-7 and it helped her heart out because she was uh, in a really bad place. We also gave her expensive heart medicine that mm. she took. Yeah, so Luke, Luke is very good to his cats and so am I because... We've had other Shadow. people, we've had other family that we've known that has not been the best to cats. Shadow had, so we've uh, always been really good to our cats. Shadow had kidney disease and we gave uh, Shadow kidney medicine for three years as soon as we found out about mm -hmm. it. So, you know. Yep. Zelda's just... Uh, she has a stomach she's disease. She's got stomach They stuff. weren't even sure if she had cancer at one point. No. Nope. She has a... She has a they did x-rays on her stomach. She has a problem with her stomach where she just randomly has hairballs. There's nothing you can do about it. All right. It's a, a shoe cubby. These shoes look like they belong to Sarge and his dad. Ah, these boots here are like a little damp. Ah, it looks like there's uh, something inside this one. Maybe Dr. Buff wore them last night? They might lead us to where they hid the orb. Uh, let's take a closer look. 
You gonna take a closer look at the boots? Okay. Uh, why? Why do we have to take a look at the boots? Uh, because we can. Mm -hmm. We found some boots. Examine boots. We sold them. You want to come up here? She doesn't know what she wants. She's just looking at you. She's saying, "Hello." Mm -hmm. All right, so these are some interesting-looking boots. There's a lot of mud under here. <laughs> hey, there's a question mark on the bottom of this boot. Where? I don't see no question mark. Papa had those custom made for his archaeology field work. He had the soul of an adventurer. This boot had a soul of an adventurer too. Where are you seeing a question mark? I don't see a question mark on the bottom of the shoe. Mm, whatever. What is it, Zelda? She wants wet food, but I don't have any for her, so she just has her dry food. I mean, didn't she already eat wet food today? No, because she just has her dry food. I've given her... I've given her wet food every single day this week. I don't... Okay. I, I ran out of it. She ate all of it. Wow. She has her dry food. She does have her dry food. I was giving Link and Zelda their wet food twice a day, all week. And I'm I'm out of it. I don't have any more of it. They have their dry food though, so there's no reason. Mm -hmm. They have plenty of food. Like some cats only get dry food. They're just she's just very stubborn. When she doesn't have the food that she wants, she just refuses to eat. I know. So I'll have to get her some tomorrow because I not, can't. She's not stubborn. It's called being picky. She's mm -hmm. a picky eater. <laughs> Nothing particularly interesting here. The thing is, what people don't understand, like, we've had cats uh, for most of our marriage. Cats are like three-year-old, like, children that never grow up, and they never... Well, we can't communicate with them the way you could a kid. Yeah. So, like, you can't really discipline the cat. You can love the cat, and you can uh. be around the cat, but they basically have, like, the... Like the terrible threes or the terrible twos, like their whole life. The, and, yeah, you know. the last time Zelda got really sick was actually because of what the vet did. Yeah. Because the vet said that they felt that Zelda, you know, had had a few hairballs. So they were like, okay, let's give her this extremely, like, tummy sensitive food. And it was, like, made with, like, duck and rabbit. So they were like, you can't feed her anything else but this. We're going to try to make sure she never gets any more hairballs. So we gave her this food. We did exactly what the vet said. And Zelda stopped eating. Yep. She just com she just completely stopped eating. And we called the vet every day and we were like, um, she's not really eating. And they're like, no, she'll eventually eat it. A couple days later, she literally, the food was out there every day. She refused to eat it. She's so picky. We ended up taking her to the emergency hospital. And then we tried to tell the vet, like, she doesn't want this duck food. Like, she does not want it. Like, she will not eat this. And, like, they wouldn't listen. So we just said, you know what? We're not we're not doing this. We're giving her the... F Basically, now we feed her the food that's at uh, that they gave her at the emergency vet hospital. Which we have a prescription for her now. Which is, um gastroenteritis food or something and it's specifically for cats with bad tummy. Hey, 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 Link, don't attack the TV. But yeah, not every time a cat gets sick it's because they ate something wrong. It's because, you know, sometimes cats are picky and they're stubborn and they just they're weird. They'll refuse to eat the dry food because they're picky and they they're like, oh, I like the wet food better and it's like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Um, so, we might get a better look inside if we undid these straps. So we're gonna go check out the inside of the shoe. I mean, I don't really see how this would help anything. Oh, there's some type of goo inside oh, the shoe. Oh, gross. It looks like some kind of glowing moss. It could have come from wherever the doctor was last night. Must have gotten in with some of that mud. Oh. It might be worth looking into, I suppose. If that'll help us pinpoint where the doctor hid the orb. Glowing moss added to the court record. Hmm. We 
whoosh, 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 whoosh. Alright, well, where, where is the glowing moss? Now what? Present. Try this. Hey, can you take a look at this? Let me ask you something, Corporal Justice! How does that aid you on the battlefield? Um, well, if you count the courtroom as a battlefield, it's a fairly useful weapon. Good answer! Military man must know his weapons inside and out! Keep up the good work, Corporal! Sir, sure, yes, sir! I guess that's all he has to say about that. Hmm. Uh, stuck inside of the doctor's boot, it probably is where he went to hit the ore. Okay. Examine. What else can we look at? Shoe Cubby was taken care of. Some books. Sarge, sir, do you ever read these books? Why, of course! Soldiers must have extensive knowledge as well as fighting prowess. I'm learning all I can each and every day in preparation for the big battle. The big battle? Um, you know, for when I go back to school, I'll need to be up to date on every subject. <laughs> Stuff like, you know, latest comics and Hollywood gossip. What? Oh, I see. Uh, what about reading, writing, and arithmetic? Yeah, you can always learn those at school. Well, I'm rooting for you, Sarge. <laughs> Thank you, I will try my best. Okay, that had no relevance to anything, but... Mm. It's a raincoat. Hmm. It's a bit wet, and there's fresh mud on it. That must mean someone wore it recently. Mm. No. It's wet? Oh, wow. Indeed. Maybe even as recently as last night. Sarge, did it rain here last night? Negative! There has been a cloud in the sky! Well, then how did the raincoat get all muddy and wet? When I saw it last evening, it looked pretty clean and dry to me. That means it got like this later at night? Uh, good eye, son. It may very well turn out to be a vital clue. Raincoat. Oh, raincoat added to the court record. Alright. Did we already check those weird glasses on the table, or no? No. They look kind of weird. Are these the doctors? Yes! Those were Papa's reading glasses! He said he'd been having trouble reading lately. But those glasses seem to help, or something. Reading glasses, huh? I'll just hold on to these. Dirk! Don't tell me you're having trouble reading, too. What perished the thought? I just don't want to leave any stone unturned. Hmm. Doctor's reading glasses added to the court record. So the father stole the glasses. Okay. Uh, weird. This computer could prove some useful information, maybe. Oh, it turned on, Luke. Well, yeah. Ah, it's password protected. Hey, Dirk, you're good at getting into places you're not supposed to. Don't look at me. I don't know the first thing about computers. Ha ha ha! Leave it to me! A modern day warrior must well be versed in technology and have the means, uh, and have mean, mean pride! After all, he controls information, controls the battlefield! Okay. Um. What? Oh, they got in? And I'm in! Looks like modern day warriors have mean keyboard skills, too. <laughs> Okay, let's see what we can find. Clickety clackety clickety clack. What's this? An email message. Now, this is interesting. It's a research report to whoever asked the doctor to study the orb. Here, I put the data on this thumb drive thing. Take it to use it well, soldier! Email added to the court record. Yeah, they're gonna prove that his death wasn't an accident, it was a murder. Oh, wow. Probably. Um, we already examined everything else in the room? Hang on, check computer. I'm guessing the blonde that's on the screen is the, the wife who died. So we examine his glasses on the desk. We examine the the raincoat. We examine the moss. We examine the computer. 
Do we examine everything else? Alright, let's go over what we learned so far. Uh, where, wherever it was that the doctor went, he needed a raincoat. And it was somewhere where this glowing moss is. Glowing moss? Any ideas where that might be, Sarge? Negative, comrade! I hate to say my intel's a little thin on this one. I've been occupied with my siege defense strategy ever since we moved to this village. Hmm. Well, son, it seems we have no other choice. We'll have to ask the locals if they know of a place like that. How is it your father? I thought your father was dead! I'm so confused about the situation. Okay, whatever, no. helicopter man. We're out of here. Hmm. Alright. Karine hmm. Village. May 16th, Karine Village. Okay. Mm. Uh, 105, 106. <laughs> My gosh. Link! Well, I guess I need to get her some wet food for tomorrow. That's he, that's a he. Zelda's right there. Link both, is the one running around. I need to take down the Christmas tree. I've actually talked to several friends and they were like, why do you even buy them wet food at all? You should just get them the crunchies. It's cheaper. It's like... Because it's important for a balanced diet for them to have both dry and wet food. Oh. That's why. It's like... Just like you some... probably wouldn't want to eat like... Yeah, but even the vet told us we didn't have to get them wet. Right, you don't have to, but I mean, it's it's good for their, their, you know. I mean, they don't have to eat wet food every day, but they should have wet food a few times a week. Yeah. Uh, it feels like somebody's watching me and it's really creeping me out. Or it's just Paul Addison's campaign posters. When did he put these up? Whatever. I got more important things to do uh, than pay. Ah. Anyway, great weather really fits the lifts the spirits, doesn't it? I know. After our little treasure hunt, why don't we stay? We go hunting. Hunting? We used to do that a lot, didn't we? Yeah. Just look at the mountain here. I bet there are some feisty wild boars up there. I think I'll pass, but thanks. Oh, so hunting's a no-go. Um, well, uh, I guess that wild boar stew will have to wait then. Huh. Hey, Apollo, something seems different from the last time we were here. You mean the posters? No, not those. What are you talking about? I guess I should take a look around myself. I don't see anything different. There's birds. I hear birds. I hear birds, right. Campaign posters. Uh, let's see. Um, what's that weird picture? That wasn't there before. What, that? Someone's painting something. What do we have here? Oh, wow. Looks like an unfinished picture, like something a little kid might draw. Yep. Oh, you're right. I can't quite tell what it is of, though. I think it's supposed to be nighttime, but what's that thing on the left? A monster or some kind of alien, perhaps. It looks like a dude in a raincoat. In any case, it's a pretty poor excuse for a drawing. Well, what do you expect from a little kid? A little kid? Oh, ah! it's pearls. pearls. Huh? Oh, it's you, Pearl. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Why, Mr. Apollo, is that you? What a pleasant surprise. It's been quite some time. How have you been? Hey, fine, thanks. You're looking good, Pearl. Well, aren't you going to introduce me, son? How many of these girls you have? Of course. This is uh, my friend Pearl Fay. How many girls do you have, Apollo? She's a spirit medium here in Karine Village. Pearl, this is uh, Dirk, my um client. Hmm. Hello, sir. Pleased to meet you. If there's anything I can do to help, please let me know. Nice to meet you, too. And uh, what a polite little girl you are. Uh, actually, I... I'm a high schooler! Whoopsies! Sorry about that. 
So, uh, you're a spirit medium, huh? Does that mean you can channel spirits, then? Wow, Pearl is angry at this point. Yes, I'm in, still in training, though. But I'm very well versed in the art of spirit channeling. Well, now, isn't that something? I mean, back in my country, our little princess hasn't channeled a single spirit yet. A pretty impressive young lady. Hmm. Oh! Compared to Mystic Maya, there's so much more I must learn. Mystic Maya? Oh, right. Maya Fey. Mr. Wright's uh, former courtroom assistant. Yeah, assistant. Right. He told me all about yeah. her. She's a spirit medium, too, if memory serves. Yes! She's an amazing spirit medium! And soon she'll be the next head of the Fate Clan, too! Mediums and spirit channeling. I've heard all about it from Mr. Wright. He said the mediums will even physically become the person they're channeling. Mm. I wonder if even Little Pearl could turn into a hulking giant if she had, the, had to channel one. Probably. I hope you don't mind me asking, but well, what brings you all the way out here, Mr. Apollo? Huh? Oh, small matter to take care of. Wait, what happened to be the matter where Mr. Edgeworth is looking into? Prosecutor Edgeworth? What's he doing here? Oh, so it's a different matter then. Because I saw him a moment ago, he appeared to be searching for something. Oh? Hmm. Edgeworth is here! Edgeworth is going to be in this episode. Mr. Edgeworth is a friend of Mr. Wright's and the district chief, uh, district's chief prosecutor. Yay! Why would he be in Karine? Because he knows Maya. Da 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 da. da. Yep. Well, no point of obs uh, obsessing over it. We'll probably run into him later. Come to think of it, uh, you live here in Karine Village too, don't you, Pearls? Yes, I was born and raised here, Apollo. This is perfect, Apollo. Let's ask the young lady if she knows where the doctor might have gone last night. I was thinking the exact same thing, actually. Maybe I should show her what we found in the doctor's study. Okay. Pearl's so cute! Pearl just keeps getting cuter with age. 17-year-old Pearl. Pearl must be protected at all costs. She's so cute. Five-year-old Pearl. No, I'm just kidding. No. No. I'm just kidding. I'm trying to make her 17, but she's also, like, sounds young for her age. Yeah, I mean, I guess Phoenix and Maya are back from that country, so... She's got the best theme song. Okay. Yep. And remember, guys, if we're always, uh, if we're taking a little far too long or whatever, you guys can always help uh, support the short um, that went up. So mods, remember, because, I mean, that short is still under, it's only about 700 views. That's not the best. I don't know why it didn't do well, Luke. It has, like, shorts tend to, if they have the wrong wording, if they, like, title is... Not only is the, the picture important for a short, but also the title. So if the title's not very good, people aren't interested to click on it. Mm. That's why shorts are really hard. It's like 50-50 to get shorts uh, viewed on a channel. Is You have to have the correct wording. You have to have a catchy title. And if all those things don't really work out well... Up. 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 Come on. Up. Good girl. If all that stuff doesn't come together, then the short bombs. So, and uh, since the short is under 800 views, and you know it hasn't really grown at all, yeah, that's not a good thing. All right, so let's present some info to pearls. Lie down. If you're gonna be up here, you need to lie down because I have to work. You're gonna lie down. Somebody's cute. Good girl. You feeling better after you got that stuff out, or are you feeling worse? Okay, you're purring, so that's always a good sign. Okay. Um, let's go with... Present Gross Moss. Oh. Hey, Pearl, do you have any idea where this moss might grow? Um, that looks like Mitama moss. It grows on Mount Mitama. It gives off a soft glow in the dark. 
Mount Mitama, huh? See the mountain over there? That's Mount Mitama. And uh, how would one get over there? You can take a bus from that bus stop over there. Um, may I ask why you're so interested in that moss? Well, Dr. Buff was supposed to give us something, but it seems like he hid it somewhere last night. He did? Maybe that's why he... Um... Pearl, do you know something that might help us? Um, well... Sounds like I'd better find out what she knows. All right, what else can we present to Pearl? Um, is there anything else? Uh, have you seen this raincoat? Hey, um, Pearl! Oh, I'm sorry! Wish I could help, but I can't! Nah, don't worry about it. Sorry I wasted your time like that. Um, at least let me offer you some tea. I mean, we, you must be tired from all your investigating. Oh, no, no, no. You don't have to do that. We'll be just fine. Thank you. She's so polite. It's hard not to feel rude around her. Uh, all right, so we need to talk to her about where the doctor went. Mm. What a peaceful place this is. Ah, nothing beats the mountain air. Good stuff. Many of the villagers have left for the city, but I just love it here. Blue skies, lush forests, star-filled skies at night, fireflies in the summer. Plus, the big, beautiful blue ocean is just beyond the mountains. Ah, uh, the ocean! Ah, uh, what do you say we go for a swim, son? Oh, um, I think I'll pass. Besides, I can't swim, remember? Hmm. Um, Pearl, Karine Village is like the home of the spirit mediums, right? Yes, I'm part of a long time line of mediums. I've never seen a channeling before, but. Is it possible to channel a spirit of anyone who's passed away? Hmm. No, not just anyone. You must know their face and true name. Really? So you can channel a spirit just by knowing their face and name? That's amazing ability. It is, but it can only be learned by those with a gift occurring in certain bloodlines and years of intense training. Present Mystic Maya and I are the only ones in our village who can channel spirits. Ah, looks like spirit mediums are highly valued here as well. Much like they are back home in my country. I heard there used to be many more of us a long time ago, but now we are on very short supply. Like the Jedi. <laughs> Most of the women nowadays don't want to stay. They want to throw the big city. Yeah, well, you guys aren't exactly close to any shopping malls or nightclubs out here, so... But what about you? Are you not interested in things like that? Well, me? Well, I, I... I wouldn't mind a new outfit or two. Well, never mind. It's okay, Pearls. You're at that age, after all. That's cute. That's cute. Why is Pearl so adorable? Hey, Pearl! Do you have any idea where Dr. Buff might have gone last night? Mm. Well, um... About that... Uh, all I know is Dr. Buff was somewhere on Mount Mitama. My bracelet! It's reacting! Uh-oh. Which means Pearl is hiding something from me. Let's ask about Paul first. Oh, uh, we met this weirdo earlier named Paul Addison, politician. Do you know anything about him? Yes, he's been campaigning a lot around here lately. The noise he's been making has become quite a problem. People are especially upset that he's campaigning at all hours of the night and day. Yeah, well, uh... Local police should arrest him for disturbing the peace. <laughs> Fortunately, there's little they can do because the Atishan family is so powerful. Well, isn't he the uh, proverbial pampered 
Provincial... Provincial Pro Prince? Yeah. He seems like pretty intent on winning here in Karine. Is there some special reason why? I'm not sure, but I have an idea. The spirit mediums of Karine once held considerable sway in the political world. Judging by his slogan, maybe that's what he's after. Great, so he's just another politician seeking powerful connections. Shocked. The ability to commune with the dead gives comfort to those anxious about the future. Uh, tiny, uh, Karine has preserved the independence by its queen's power of spirit channeling. Let's play a similar role in this village. Oh, yes, even today, many here revere those with spirit medium blood throwing, flowing through their veins. So basically, Paul's benefactor goes... So goes the whole village. Who is this benefactor? Who could hold this much sway over Karine Village? Hmm, that's a good question. Hmm. All I know is Dr. Buff was somewhere in that Mitama. Oh, we have to use our manlet! Uh, Brandon says bracelet time! Oh. Yep, manlet time. Mm. All I know is Dr. Buff was somewhere in Mommy Tama. Mm. See her. Oh, there's one hand, and she's got another hand on her chin. Link. I know it's Dr. Buff. Somewhere in that Mitama. Mm. Right there. Gotcha! Oh, it is moving. You're right. Pearl, you seem anxious around the topic of Mount Mitama. Now, could you tell? I could tell because you've rubbed your thumb over a splotch of dried pain as you said it. Linky, what are you doing? Um, well, uh, uh... That nighttime painting is yours, isn't it? Poor Pearl. We thought her painting looks like a child's painting. I mean, Pearl can't draw. Wow. Wow. This is so embarrassing. She can channel spirits, though. Yeah, you just can't draw. Uh, you saw... No, Linky, don't. I'm not a very good artist. It's squirt bottle time for the cats. They are going behind the couch. Not and supposed to be behind the couch. got to get them out because they're being bad. Yep. Mm. Okay, here we go. Uh, well, Luke, I guess this is what happens when I don't have their favorite food. I guess I have to go out and get it tomorrow. I guess so. Okay, so she said mm. she's not a very good artist, right? Not a very good artist? <laughs> But that picture has nothing to do with Dr. Buff! I'm not so sure about that. In fact, I'm gonna guess that while you were out there, out here painting last night, you actually saw the good doctor heading out to Mount Mitoma from the bus stop. No! I didn't see anything like that! I swear! No, I'm positive you saw the doctor. After all, he's right here in your picture. Right there. What well, resembles Dr. Bob? <laughs> you think that's the doctor? I may not be a very good artist, but at least I know how to draw a person! Um, that's debatable. Okay, if this isn't a person, then what is it? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That's a, a, a rain spirit! It's a spirit walking! Um, What's a rain spirit doing at a bus stop? Taking the bus. Oh, um, rain spirits have places to go, too. Right. This is getting ridiculous. Sorry, Pearl, but you're not a very uh, good liar. 
That is Dr. Buff, and this piece of evidence confirms it. Uh... This is the raincoat we found in the doctor's study. It's still wet and muddy, so we know that someone wore it last night. Now, see how this pattern is the same as the rain spirit in your picture? Hmm. You didn't see rain spirits last night. You saw Dr. Buff wearing this raincoat. Supposed to lie, but bad oh. pearls. Mm, poor Pearl, she's so sweet. She's not trying to be bad. She's trying to be good. Pearls is a sweet girl. She's not trying to lie. She thought she saw a rain spirit. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. Where the doctor went. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you before, Mr. Apollo. But I did see the doctor last night. Okay. I think the rain spirit stole that guy's jacket. No. It's alright. Just please tell me everything you know now. Anything is possible. <clears throat> of course. I was painting out here last night when the doctor came up to the bus stop. He was wearing a raincoat, even though it wasn't raining, and a helmet with a light on it. Sounds like he was well prepared for something. I know. That's why I asked him if he was going off exploring again. He looked startled, like he hadn't noticed me there. Then he suddenly said, Please don't tell anyone you saw me here. Uh Oh, that's why she would Why would he want to silence you like that? Uh, I don't know. Something must have happened to spook him. Mm. And he didn't want anyone to know where he was going to hide the orb. But where could he have been going dressed like that? My best guess is a cave somewhere on Mount Mitama. I heard there's a cave there where mediums of the grand tradition went to train long ago. Sorry, I was just getting into the song. You're fine. Why is Capcom music so good? It just is. Legend has it, there's some sort of mystical ruins in there. Mystical ruins? Hmm. Sounds like the exact sort of place an archaeologist might go. Well, we should get going now. But thanks for all your info, Pearls. You're welcome, Mr. Apollo. Please take care. Pearl's so cute! What do you say we find that cave, son? I sense the orb might finally be within our grasp. This treasure hunt is shaping out to be a real deal. Ha, ha, ha. Really gets your blood pumping, doesn't it? Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Ha, ha, ha. Wow, Luke, your decision to make him cronk was a great one. Yeah. Cave entrance. The fact that that guy was campaigning at like all hours of the night, I mean, when people are trying to sleep, is kind of funny. All right, here we go. Cave entrance, May 16th. Ah, I'm all out of breath. Ah, uh, come on. That was nothing. And you're so much younger than me, too. It's kind of sad. Mm. I, uh, uh, don't normally get this much exercise in my line of work. <laughs> Need a break. <laughs> no, no. I'm fine. I'm fine. That's his adop adopted dad, too. Dirk. I mean, uh, yeah, it is Dirk. Dirk, look, there's a Mitama moss uh, glowing in that cave over you're there. I'm gonna call him Dad. There must be uh, where the door was last night. Easy, kitten. What are you doing? <laughs> Who's getting all the attention, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this must be where the doctor was last night. Let's take a look inside the spooky cave. Yay. May 16th. 
Mitama Cave. Yay! I can't see a thing. Relax. Your eyes will adjust eventually. Just close them and focus. Now follow me. I really think we need a flashlight, Dirk. Should have brought one along then, son. Here, use mine. Who said that? Thanks. Wait. Were you holding out on me? Huh? What are you talking about, Apollo? I didn't say nothing. Oh my gosh. There's... You... There's someone else in this cave! Whoa! Someone else just pushed me! Oh no! Apollo! What the? Apollo! <gasps> no! It's Gollum. He's in the cave. Ow! You're right, son. Yeah. I, looks like someone got the drop on us. Quite literally, yeah. But who? I mean... We could have died from that fall. I think that was the idea. I don't know. But I don't think we'll be getting out the way we came in. Looks like we're in pretty deep cave. Nothing to do but press on, son. How can you even see in here? Oh, come on, let's go. Wait a sec! One false step and we're dead. What in the world should we do? Go forward. I guess we'll keep going. There must be some path uh, Dr. Buff followed in order to hide the orb. Right on, by the way. Looks like our attacker left us with this usual parting gift. From lawyer to spelunker. How do I always get myself into these... Uh, From lawyer to spelunker. How do I get myself into these situations? We're never going to make it out alive, I hope you know this. Don't tell me you're scared, son. We're just getting started. We'll be fine. Greatest treasures are only ever found at the point of a blade or the edge of a cliff. Yeah, sure, whatever. If you'd know I'd wind up at the bottom of some dark, damp cave, I would never have taken your request, Dirk. Save your breath, Apollo. Just keep one foot ahead of the other. There'd really better be a way out of here. We'll find one before you know it. You'll see. Hmm. Yeah, we should have brought some flashlights, Don. Drago says it looks like he's flipped his eyes patch to the other eye. Huh? That's interesting. Maybe they continuity error. Probably. Or maybe he just, it's a fashion Satan. He wants to look cool. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ha, ha. We've been walking for over an hour. It's like a maze in here. I couldn't get back to where we started if I wanted to. Yeah. This cave goes deeper than I thought. Wait, don't tell me you're, there really is no way out. Uh-oh. Well, where there's a will, there's a way. Ever the optimistic person, aren't you, Dad? Maybe we should cut our losses while we still can. Um, uh, forge ahead! <laughs> Even if we're to turn back, we wouldn't make it up that wall of solid rock. So I guess we're just going to keep going. Um, uh, how do I get stuck wandering around in a dark cave again? It's definitely not in my job description. <laughs> Listen, son. Oddly, the truly accomplished have luxury of being so choosy. When I was just starting out, I did everything from street performing to yak milking. And that helped you become an accomplished attorney? How? <laughs> it didn't. But when you need to earn a living, you'll take on any job you can to survive. <laughs> so, uh, how's your career going, by the way? Well, it's been a harrowing adventure so far, to say the least. Well, that's good. My first trial really put me through the ringer. And my next case had me investigating a pair of stolen panties. <laughs> yep. And just when I was hitting my stride, this one prosecutor brand, branded me hair forehead. 
Oh. Oh, and there's this other ridiculous prosecutor who wields a samurai sword. Sounds like you're of, uh, seen quite a bit. <laughs> Zelda! What are you doing? You're telling me. Listen, Apollo. I'm, uh, sorry I didn't contact you for so long. She's a cat that's very adventurous, Sams. It's fine, Dirk. What happened, happened. Huh? Oh. Careful, the ground doesn't feel as solid here. What? Yikes! The cave floor is collapsing! Oh, not again! Oh my ah! gosh! Wow! These guys are having a rough day. Oh, sorry, I misread Druggles' comment. He said he was guessing. Maybe he put his uh, thing on the other side. Right. I see. I see what you're saying, Druggles. Sorry, I read your comment wrong. Great to see you, Druggles. Hope you're having a great day. And uh, back to check on something. Okay. Hi, I'm everyone. Good to see you guys. Hope you guys are all doing well. We just fell out in the cave. It says May 16th, question mark. We don't even know where we are. Nope. Oh wow. Don't well, know. we're going to we're going to die in here. At least we'll have spent some father time, father son time quality time together before we die in this cave. Oh, that's lovely, Amber. Whoops. I'm just trying to look at the bright side here. Okay, Luke. Hey, Apollo, can you hear me? Uh, Dirk? Huh? Where are we now? Maybe you could just wait until after the stream. I'm feeling stressed out because of all the cat stuff. Whoa, what is this place? You could just wait until after the stream so you don't have to make all the noises. Sorry. Or you could actually just have gone and opened it in the kitchen. I did go. No, you didn't. You were still in earshot of the microphone. Sorry. What is this place? Spooky. Yep. That's where we fell from. Fell a second time. I was shocked too. These ruins look really, really old. It's not exactly something you expect to find in the middle of a cave system, that's for sure. Maybe the doctor hid the orb around here? I mean, look at those footprints over there. There's lots of footprints. Hey, son, I think our little adventure is about to pay dividends. Time to find that orb. Yeah, but we can't get out of here. We're going to die in this cave. I wonder what this place was before it was well ruins. I'm guessing it was a place for spirit mediums to perform their rites. But earthquakes and the changing landscape eventually buried it. Stop eating. It's distracting. If you're right, uh, that would mean it hasn't been used in ages. I'm like Emma. The snacks help calm me down when I'm stressed out. I've had cats pouncing all over me, and just, it's been just stressful. Go snack and then come back. I aren't. I the it doesn't sound. You can't hear anything when I eat a tiny thing of fruit snack. Yes, you can. I'm already done. Okay. Uh, there was only like three in the bag. That's weird. There's usually supposed to be more than that in a bag. Zelda, please! See, I told you I'm having stress. These cats are causing a lot of weird stress for me. What's that plastic bottle doing here? Oh, uh, there's a seaweed stuck in it, which means it probably came from the ocean. Mm. Ah, it's possible that this cavern is connected to the sea somehow. Genius. Got Never footprints. mind. <laughs> These have gotten. These have to be the doctor's footprints. They match the bottoms of the boots we saw in his study. So we made it all the way down here, huh? Meh, the water's washed most of them away, but these footprints are everywhere. Really? Because uh, these are the only ones that I see. He must have been looking for something. Ah! These prints! They're coming out of that lake. Hey, you're right! 
But that would mean Dr. Buff came walking out of the water. Okay, came out of the lake. Hmm. We have broken tree over here. Driftwood? How did that get in here? By drifting on in, I'd assume. Only question is from where? The driftwood got here by drifting? Whoa. <laughs> hmm. This lake looks really deep. I can't even see the bottom of it. A bottomless lake in the depths of the mountain cave system? My blood runs cold at the thought of falling in there. The water. It's salty. This lake may very well lead to the ocean. Uh, didn't Pearl mention something about the ocean? Like how it's on the other side of the mountain? Can't imagine she meant it literally. Hmm. What's this stuff? Creepy rocks. Nothing interesting here. Anything else to click on? This whole cave is green. Mm-hmm. And there's a Mitama thing. There's a little hole that a Mitama would fit in. So that's the hole we fell through, huh? Or Doesn't feel like uh, we'll be going back that way. Magatama, whatever it's called. <sighs> Mitama, Magatama, <sighs> same dude. We're lucky we survived the fall from way up there. Indeed. If that old hadn't been uh, above the lake, we'd be history. Right. You'd have uh, passed out the moment you hit the water. You'd have passed the moment you hit the water. Yeah, well, water's not really my thing, so... Yeah, this cave is uh, solid rock all around. Yeah, how are you guys going to get out? Looks like we either go back through that hole... Or under the water. Or find some other way out. Maybe you guys will have to hold your breath and swim out. Why am I always between a rock and a hard place, huh? Because you work for Mr. Wright and Trucy. Works for Ruth Trucy. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big stone altar. One false move and some god might come and smite us. Oh, come on now. It's not all doom and gloom. I dare you to look at your surroundings and say that again, Dirk. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, whatever. You got me there, son. Dear gods, please smite me now. Don't say that, Apollo! This box looks pretty new. I'm guessing the doctor's the one who brought it down here? It's no good. It's locked tight. There's no way to open it? Doesn't look like it, no. There isn't even a keyhole. Which means there must be some trick to opening it. We'll have to figure it out if we want to see what's inside. Let's sum up what we know so far. The orb is almost definitely inside this box contraption that we can't open. As for this cave, there doesn't seem to be any way out. Yeah, great. We're this close to the orb. Ah, oh, come on now, son. Don't be like that. It's just a bit of bad luck, that's all. A bit? Murphy called. He wants his law back. Ah! What doesn't ever kill you makes you stronger, right? Ah, 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 ah. How can he even laugh at a time like this? We're stuck here for now, so we might as well try to open this thing. All right, let's see what we're dealing with. All right, mysterious fog. Uh, cave box. Thirty. Hmm. Oh, the honey. It's, the back and forth is getting kind of annoying. I'm just going to give them some treats. Come on, guys. No! Oh! Really, furballs? And here comes Link, too. It's a puzzle box, yeah. There's a big button here. Huh? Nothing happened. This thing is covered with pictures. And hey, each section also rotates. Take a look at this, son. 
See the picture of a dragon battling a tiger. And this green and purple one. This is of, uh, Karine's butterfly and Mitama or whatever. I wonder if this clues are for figuring out how to open this box. It appears this box uses a picture-based combination lock. We'll have to arrange the pictures on each side in the correct sequence. Let's see, there's the dragon and the tiger fight, the butterfly with the Mitama, and a number of other pictures too. Uh, Dirk, I was thinking, maybe we should check the evidence we've collected so far? I think we have something that might just help us open it. You never read my mind, kid. I think this will help us with the puzzle box. Uh... Well, Luke, on my theory is correct. She was starving herself because she didn't like her food. I just fed her some treats and she was scarfing them up. Uh -huh. She's refusing to eat her healthy food. So, get her some... what does it matter? I'm just trying to figure out what to present, honey. Um, I think this will help us open the box. Hmm. Alright, the research notes. When the dragon and the tiger battle, the founder offers divine protection. When the butterfly embraces the mitama, the favor of the orb is bestowed. Offer thy prayers as fervent as fire, only then shall the Holy Mother return. Descending upon us in all her glory, the founder bestows the greatest power known. Mm. Oh, God. Yeah, I think that'll help us open it. Hopefully. Dr. Buff's research notes mentions a song of ceremony. Maybe it's the lyrics in the pictures on the box correspond somehow. Yeah, you think you're onto something there, son. Okay, let's give it a shot. Each dial has six pictures. And there are four dials in all. The box should open once the pictures are arranged right in the correct order. Funky puzzle box, here comes justice! Uh, Tiger. So the first line they were talking tiger. about the... Yeah, the dragon and the tiger. And then they talked about a butterfly, I thought? Or maybe I'm wrong about that. Butterfly, butterfly embraces, embraces the Mitama. Mitama. Butterfly embracing them. Is that a butterfly? I think so. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. Offer their prayers. So people praying. Yeah. And the last one is descending upon us in all our glory, the founder bestows the greatest power. I don't think that... Maybe that's I it. I think it says person will will have glorious power or whatever. Yeah, I think that looks more like... Oh, you did it. It won't open. Okay. Maybe the pictures aren't in the right order. The case should open if the pack pictures are arranged properly, but, uh... I know I should carefully consider which part of the song corresponds with the picture. Also, I guess I can zoom in to help me with the pictures a little bit better. Not that I need it or anything, thanks to the amazing lighting in this cave. But I don't get it. I think the two ones at the end should be switched. We know that's the dragon and the tiger. We know that's the butterfly and the mitama. Maybe we should try the picture with her. That's praying? And that's being powers? Okay. It won't open. Maybe the pictures aren't in the right order. Okay, it should open if the pictures are arranged properly, but, uh... I don't get it. That, to me, um, looked like it would be correct. No, the, the first one is perfect, I think. Right? Yeah, two battling. Dragon and... Then the other one is something about the butterfly embracing the Mitama. The, the, what is the third line again? I'm sorry. What is the third line of the song? Could you look at the third line of the research notes The one again? with the multiple people are praying? Which is considered multiple people? 
This is multiple people? That looks like one person. Oh, that looks like somebody being given power from Oh, people. that's prayer. What? That's considered prayer. Oh, those are people are praying. There. That has to be it. It won't open. It what? Said, it said praying. It said something about the Holy Mother on the on the on the third line, right? So maybe maybe make the third one on the corner. The third one on the corner. Like make it between those two pictures. Have it the third one. Hang on. Yeah, this is harder than I imagined. I thought all we had to do was arrange the pictures according to the song. It's time like these you have to think outside the puzzle box. Ah! Sometimes the truth can only be found when you look at things from a different angle. A different angle? Come to think of it, one of the pictures from the song is missing. Does this mean the picture doesn't line up exactly one to one? Yeah, you don't have the Holy Mother on the third one. Why would I need the holy? I need Just people. Just move it who so it's it's on the corner. Have the people praying and the holy mother. Offer their prayers as as fervent as fire. It says whole offer the prayers and the holy mother. So just move it on the corner. There, try that. That's what I've been trying to say. Huh? That's what I've been trying to say this whole time. You're really bad at listening to me. If that works, I'm gonna be so mad because I've been trying to say that for so long. <laughs> Well, it didn't look like it was a real picture. It opened! So this is the Founder's Orb. We did it, son! The orb is finally ours! Founder's Orb updated in the court record. At last, the Founder's Orb is ours. Orb time. It's all thanks to you, son. Well done. And again, I expect nothing less than from my boy. Oh, ha ha ha. It's no big deal. Don't sell yourself short, kid. You may think it's nothing, but uh, your insights and reasoning led us here. I'd say that's truly impressive. I don't know. I don't know about that, but ha ha ha. All those battles you fought in the courtroom have shaped you into the man you are today. I couldn't be prouder. Will you cut it out already before I turn into a sun ripened tomato? With this orb, I can finally deliver a fatal blow to, uh, Garan and his regime. Ah! 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 So how exactly do you plan on using this thing? You're not gonna try to become a spirit medium, are you? Don't be ridiculous, that's weird. No, I don't need supernatural powers like that. So then, are you gonna use it as a bargaining chip with the Queen? Like, demanding she abolish the Defense Act or something? Well, the thought had crossed my mind, but, uh... The main thing is returning this to the Kingdom of Karine itself. After all, as a sacred relic of our religion, this is where it belongs. Really? That's all you wanted to do? Uh, yeah, because my true objective has always been to find out who asked Dr. Buff to study it and why. I'm not sure I follow. Okay. Thank you guys for the help. I saw, uh, well, I kind of, no, thank you guys for help with telling us. People are praying. People are trying to help you, Luke. My, thanks, Michael, Brandon, Soul Flare, Mr. Divergent, Don Haka, and um, everyone for trying to help us in the chat. And thank you guys for the help. That helped a lot with getting that open. We really appreciate your help with the cases, everyone. Thank you guys for all your help. Um, Don was saying it has to be on the corner. Brandon was like, it has to be in between. So thank you guys so much for the help. Really appreciate that, guys and gals. The orb's significance. The official story is that the orb was stolen from Temple Temple Treasure Room. Yeah, I heard about that on the news. They also said your group was behind the theft. That's not good. We're probably on a international most wanted list now. Let me ask you something, Apollo. Who do you think really stole the orb? Um... I really haven't a clue. Well, I think it was the one of the royals, so... Really? Someone from the royal family? Yeah, I got a pretty good idea which one it was. He knows who it is? Care to share your hunch? All I have to say at this point is this. Security is pretty tight, but the royals have unaffected uh, access to the treasure room whenever they want. 
Plus, they seem to be turning a blind eye to the orb's loss. But why would a member of the royal family do that? That I haven't figured out quite yet, but, uh, I will. Whatever the reason, it can't be good. I mean, uh, uh, Courtney's, uh, royal stealing a national treasure. Such religious significance is not a good thing. And pitting the crime on us to defiant dragons. Sounds like a conspiracy or something. I agree. If the truth were to come to light, it would be a scandal of epic proportions. To allow a foreign national to study a treasure so sacred that it's off limits to the public. It would be seen as an utter sacrilege to those who truly reveal the Holy Mother. Mm. So this is where... Uh, so if this were to go public, support for the Garan regime would weaken. Yeah, but that's not all. This is just a hunch, but I believe there's something even bigger here. Something that would explain why the orb was studied in the first place. Something that would shake the kingdom of Karine to its very core. And I'm gonna find out what it is. Ah, uh, he's probably right. His intuition is usually spot on. Hey Dirk, why are you so bent on revolution anyway? Is it to reform the legal system? Yeah, there's that, but uh... I'm also doing this for my children. I want to save uh, my son. What do you mean by that? Well, this is for your ears only, but uh, it's the other reason why this revolution needs to succeed. Mm. Nayuda. So Nayuda, I never thought that our reunion would take place in a courtroom. Oh, so you've run into each. You've already run into each other, huh? Yeah, but it was like he was just a different person. Hmm. He used to be such a kind, cheerful kid, always smiling and stuff, but now... He tried to convict... He tried to convict Trucy for a crime she didn't even commit. Plus, he kept telling me I had a putrid mind and to let it go and move on. Yeah, he's really gotten that bad, huh? Must be Garan's influence. He wasn't like that when he first stepped into the courtroom. Back then, he was still a keen sense of justice. I vow to bring Garan regime down and reform our legal system. That's what he swore to do, but that was almost five years ago. He'd been the shining star of the defiant dragons in our greatest hope. Hmm. Wait, he was a dragon? Yeah, he was. But well, these days, he's more like a lapdog. Talk about a complete about-face. Why would he do that? Something must have happened to him. Something that sparked a radical change. Still, I don't think he truly believes in this new path he's taken. It's not conviction that fills his heart. It's resignation and despair. I see. It's only one thing I know for sure is that Nyota is suffering, and he's suffering in silence. Why is he suffering? Yeah, he knows the rightful state of our country's legal system. But something forces him to bend to their will, and it's tearing him apart inside. It's been five years, though. Do you really think he can, uh, he still wants to reform the legal system? As long as he carries what I taught him in his heart, I think I, yeah, probably. All right, teaching, reminiscing. Aqua Dirk, 158. About his son. One sec, guys and gals. Uh -huh. No, not now, Link. Oh, no. What happened? He just knocked something over in the basement. Oh. Sounds like chemicals or something. Alright, uh, back to this case. And then back to the place. Okay, here we go. <coughs> A dragon never yields. That's what you always told us, anyway. Yeah, I did do that. It's a belief I've held since back when I was a lawyer. A dragon stands at the pinnacle of the natural world. 
Nothing and no one can bend its will. That's why we lawyers must pursue the truth like an unyielding dragon, right? We must fight for truth to the bitter end. So no matter what it takes. Dirk and Mr. Wright, they have that much in common. That's why I've held on to this badge, even though there's uh, no lawyers anymore. I believe that one day our legal system will return to its former glory. And this badge is here as a testimony to that. Huh. I wonder if Naoda still believes in what you taught us. Oh, he does. That much I'm sure of. A dragon never yields. I know what belief is etched deep in his heart, probably. I'd bet my life on it. After all, he is my flesh and blood. Mm. This unshakable faith and confidence, it's what draws people to him, whether they like it or not. Even people like me. You know, I remember back when we were kids, Nayuda used to say with great pride, I have the blood of the dragon within me. Yeah, and that's why I wanted to free him. Free him from the poisonous clutches of the Quran regime. So that's your other reason for starting a revolution. Oh yeah, I need to smack some sense into that boy of mine. I mean, what else are fathers for? Ha ha ha! Yeah, I wouldn't know. Now that we have the orb, on to the next problem, getting out of here. Well, we're not gonna get back the way we came, that's for sure. Yeah, that's pretty high up. We're not getting up there. That hole we fell through is really high. Too high to climb back up. Well, in actuality, I have an idea. A lake water tastes salty, which means must connect to the ocean. Wait a second. You're not suggesting we swim our way out of here. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I'm suggesting, my boy. But we have no idea how deep that lake goes. It's pitch black down there, too. Not a problem. How is that not a problem? I mean, how do you even know if there's a real passage to the ocean? Hmm. Well, one of us has to try, and I'm the better swimmer, so, uh, time's a waste, and I'll be back before you know it, son. Ah, uh, Dirk! Oops. He's gone. I sure hope he knows what he's doing. Yep. May 16th, Mount Mitama, Karain Ruins. <sighs> it's been 20 minutes. I hope he's alright. What's going on? Uh-oh! Uh-oh! The water! It's rising and fast! Ah! Oh. Apollo can't swim. Need air! Uh, ah! I don't know how to swim! If I don't grab onto something that floats... Yeah. Grab the driftwood. This is bad. I better think of something and quick. Wow. I've got it. As long as I hold on to this, I should be able to stay afloat. Hey, maybe I can use this like an oxygen tank. Wait, what am I thinking? I need to stay calm and... More rational about this. I mean, he just used the driftwood, so what else is there to look at? This is not good. The water's almost up to the top of the altar. It won't be long before it reaches the roof of the cave. But that's how you'll get out. Ah, it's no use. The hole's still too high. I have to find another way in quick before I drown. Come on, Apollo, you can do this. The puzzle box is still at the base of the altar. It must have been designed to stay put even at high tide. Wait, that's it! Dr. Buff must have gotten in here uh, from some ocean side entrance at low tide. That's why his footprints were leading out of the lake. 
So it really does connect to the ocean. Now, not that that helps, I drowned before I made it out. Oh my gosh. Water won't stop rising. I'm getting swept away. Please stop. The you can climb out now, guy. Oh yeah, we can get out where we came. Water's just high enough for me to reach the hole. I'm saved. All I have to do is get back the way we came. The water might even lift me all the way back over there. Uh, that wall of rock. Here goes. Wait, what happened to Dirk again? Ah, uh, he went for a swim. Huh? The hole, it's full of rubble! Uh-oh! The tunnel collapsing must have filled it after we fell through it! This... This can't be happening! No, I can't give up now! I refuse to die here! Uh-oh. It's blocked! The water, I can't! <laughs> I can't breathe. Uh oh. Is this the end? Dirk, I wonder if he made it out. So this is what it feels like to drown. I would have eaten that sushi if I'd known it would have been my last meal. Oops. I feel like I've been through this before. Now I remember. It was back when all three of us were living in that shack by the mountains. Nayuda and I were playing by the riverside when we got swept up by the rapids. No, oh, they both got swept up by the rapids. I thought we were goners, but then... Hey, Yoda! Apollo! Hold on, kids, I'm coming. Aw, he saved them both. That was a close one, kids. I thought I lost you two. I'm sorry, Drake. Dirk, darn it. No, no worries. That's enough now. I didn't teach you the boys that don't cry, right? Thank you, Father. You could have been killed, but you risked your life to save us. Why? Hey, what a silly question. What a father wouldn't risk his life to save his own kids? Aww. Nayuda, Apollo, don't ever hesitate to call me when you need me. Understand? Hey, Dirk, this isn't forever, right? You'll bring me back from America someday, right? Of course. I'll come pick you up as soon as uh, things settle down here. Promise. Okay, you promised. Dirk, I waited and waited for the day you'd come and take me home, but you never came. That's why I tried to forget about you and my life back in that country. This is a long flash. Uh, why... why didn't you... Oh, wow. Paul drowned. Paulo! Can you hear me? Uh, what? D uh, Dirk? I uh, still can't swim, huh? That's kind of funny. You came back, but why? I said I'd come for you, didn't I? Yeah, but you can't hold me and swim. We're both gonna... Stop talking. Go bite your tongue. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa! We're being pulled under! 
What's going on? Why is this happening? May 16th. Question, 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 question. Ugh. Oh, wow. Where are we? You finally come to, son. Get your feel of seawater. Good thing your name's not Neptune, huh? Ha 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 Drake? Ah, uh, Dirk? Darn it. Ah! You're telling me. Uh, check it out. Snot's coming out of his nose. What a miraculous escape! Not even some of the escape artists greats could pull that one off! Huh? What on earth happened? Sorry it took me so long, son. I made it to the ocean, but I figured you still couldn't swim, so... I found a local fisherman and had him take us out near the undersea cavern. He tried to rope to me and I came and grabbed you, then he yanked me back. Oh, that's what pulled us under with such force. Don't forget about me! I assisted in your escape act too, Polly! Oh yeah, I felt uh, compatriots escape from all sorts of places. Mountain jails, island prisons, an undersea cavern. Now that was a first. Hmm. Wow, he risked his life to save me, huh? Yep. Hey, um, thanks. I'm only alive because of you. Thank you. Oh yeah, uh, you're welcome, kid. I, uh... This did what any other father would do for his son, so... Aww... He saved my life yet again. Oh... Um... <laughs> I guess seawater doesn't make for such a great meal. It's cause Polly didn't have any sushi! Oh yeah, I haven't eaten anything since this morning. Oh, that's right! Hey, AJ, uh, Dirk had me buy this for you. Huh? Oh, yeah, I thought you might be hungry. Ready to have some food this time around? Yeah, thanks. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, wow, this is delicious. I'm hungry now. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, glad you approve. I better get some before you eat them all, though. No, 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 no. Just like old times. Uh, Dirk used to slice up fish we caught, and we'd all eat fresh, uh, sasami together. He used to talk about all the vitamins and minerals packed in the raw fish. Oh, man, that's good stuff. Hey, by the way, let me see that orb, AJ. Here you go. Whoa, that's what it looks like! Well, you found the legendary treasure! Nice work, Polly! Thanks. I guess you could say, mission accomplished. With the orb, our revolution can take a big step forward. Let's celebrate the eve of our revolution. We'll all get dressed up and feast till dawn. Yeah, now we're talking. Time to party. Mm. After all that, I just want to go to bed. Sure wish uh, Neyuda was here. Maybe one day we'll enjoy times like these together again. The revolution, if it can bring back those happy days, you can sign me up for... Sorry to interrupt your little party, but I'm here for my crystal. Oh, this guy. Oh, this guy. Oh, it's him again. All right, I think this is a good stopping point because we began the stream with this guy. We're gonna end the stream with this guy. Yep. Yeah. Paul. Paul. Politician. His family has been in the the business for like years or something, mm. or something like that. There we and go. And he rides around on a palaquin, I guess, or whatever you call it. Or those people carrying him around. Rides around on something. something. We're getting to the good part. Yep, but we're already bleeding into... You guys have to understand that we can't have the channel drop to 900 views an hour. So we have to stop and get the next stream started as soon as possible. But you guys have been awesome in the chat. Thank you guys for all the help with opening that uh, box and getting the pearl or the orb and stuff. 
Thank you guys for being amazing in the chat and being all, all of your awesome commentary on helping us figure out where we need to like look at stuff when we were examining the room. And um, we just love watching your take on everything um, with Ace Attorney and stuff. So I hope you guys had fun. We did. And it's so great. So many of the Ace Attorney fans are watching us. So we'll see you guys on the next video uh, coming up. And we'll hopefully see more Ace Attorney tomorrow. Yeah, if you guys want another episode of Ace Attorney, a thousand views required for the next episode. We're ending the stream at 660 views. Make sure you guys watch the YouTube short that went up today because it's still, like, floundering. It's not doing very good. And, um, whatever the next game is, Freedom Planet will be starting up momentarily. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Head over to the next stream, get those likes up, and, uh, see you for more Freedom Planet. God bless, happy gaming. See you in a bit. See ya!